I like to talk about how children are damaged by confusion, by cross signaling, by being told one thing and then being told the opposite. Okay, this isn't like a major trauma in my life, but I'm using an incident from when I was 10 years old to emphasize, to just illustrate the problem of confusion. Um, I was, uh, when I was, you know, in elementary school, they take what are called field trips. I don't know why they're called field trips because you never visit a field. Basically, you usually go to something like to see a movie or something. And I think it was to see, a, yeah, it was to see a movie that we'd had a field trip. Okay. And I think I told my parents or my mother in advance that we were going on a field trip. And my friend Susan had not told her parents that she, in advance that she was going on a field trip. Um, she didn't have any extra coins to buy popcorn. So I had an extra quarter and I gave her an extra quarter so she could buy popcorn. She was a friend of mine and the quarter helped her buy, you know, buy a popcorn that like everybody else had one. Okay. When I went home, I told my mother that I let her, this other girl have, you know, who hadn't brought any coins. I let her have one of my coins so she could buy some popcorn. And my mother said, don't you do something like that for her. We don't have enough money that you can be giving our money to other people. And when she said that, I felt like it was as if electricity had gone down my spine because I was so shocked that when I thought I'd done something nice, I'd done something bad. My mother yelled at me because of it. Okay. Another day I was at the school in the bathroom. This girl brushed up against me. I thought she was hitting me. You have to understand that any touch by somebody that you're upset with is going to be experienced in a very negative way. So even though she just kind of brushed up against me, I felt like she was hitting me. And I went up to her and I hit her in the back. Okay, from there on, uh, we started fighting and we actually went um, after school one day to have it out. And... Then we were brought into the principal's office. Both of us were sobbing. And Susan was saying, she would repeat, I always liked Tina. I always liked Tina. That was my name. My first name is Tina. I go by Denise, but my first name is Tina. And so that was one of the few friendships I had. Didn't have very many, but I did have one. And I lost it partly because of my mother's, you know, Hysteria about money, which in turn was caused by her own um, growing up in poverty and being unable to make any money. But this is an example, you know, at Sunday school, you're supposed they teach you to be kind, to be generous. Um, I get punished by my mother for being kind and generous. And you can see how that would lead to confusion. How that would lead to disturbance. And so I'm, I'm just giving that as an illustration of how children can be harmed by giving by gain, being given crossed signals. There were other times when I was punished for being selfish because I wouldn't share it with other kids. You know, I was punished for sharing with other kids. I was punished for not sharing with other kids. But anyway, I hope you like hearing that. We'll subscribe and tell other people about me so I can grow my social media presence. Bye.